I've been looking through thousands of other websites and just shocked by how many websites have a horrible header. Now, the header is the first thing that people see when they go to your website, but for the majority of them, they're absolutely turning people away. In fact, most visitors don't even scroll on the homepage, and we know this by looking at scroll depth heat maps from Hotjar. Check out this quick segment from Andy Crestadina that goes over this. This is a composite scroll heat map from a bunch of B2B service companies' homepages. So literally, like I, I can see on average, the percentage of visitors that scroll, not much. So you have one shot to communicate with your visitors, and if you fail at communicating with them through the header, well, those people are going to be lost, meaning you're going to lose conversions and ultimately money. There's a lot of money left on the table if you don't have a good header. And so that's why we're here. I'm gonna show you a formula to craft the perfect header for your website, especially if you have a local target market. Now, these header formulas are going to be able to satisfy your visitors, but also satisfy search engines. But first, let's look at some bad examples. Now, most of these bad examples leave the visitors confused, unsure about what the business does. They're gonna bounce, they're gonna get away from the website, or they don't properly attract search engine traffic, organic traffic, and so they're losing out on a lot of customers. All right, so right off the bat, you look at this and you're unsure about what this business does. That is a horrible thing to do. And beyond that, the, the text doesn't really uh, contrast well with the background, and we'll get into that a little bit, but this is more about the copy. Let's keep going here. I mean, this one is creative, happy body. I mean, it sounds kind of good, and they say fitness, wellness, and education, but like, where do they provide that? Like, is it at a gym? What location? You don't really know what this business does and it, it'll probably make you bounce. There's a lot that can be done here to improve what the visitor actually comprehends from this website. Now, I, I know that we wanna go to forming creative headers I and mean, we look at these companies like Apple or you know they, they form these really nice headers that, that speak to you. And um, the problem with a lot of these is they don't actually properly speak with your audience. Uh, you know, you're not Apple, your audience doesn't know who you are. And that's one of the key things you have to keep in mind. And I'll get to that point, but climb to a better you. I mean, we can tell that this is a rock climbing gym, but can Google, I mean, by their header, climb to a better you, could it be uh, mountain climbing? Like it's not attracting organic traffic. In addition to that, if you're a visitor, you don't know about this gym or whatever. Uh, and if you continue scrolling down, they don't really go into like what their gym is about and stuff. So um there's a lot of opportunity here to add location keywords and we'll get into like the what to do but i'm just kind of pointing out what not to do here for a couple more of them and please don't use welcome i see this so many times when i'm going through these thousands of websites where they'll say welcome to our business and you're not welcoming somebody that's walking into your business you're welcoming somebody that doesn't really know about you potentially and so you really need to stand out right here but um you know you look at this we don't know what they do. And then the second headline, COVID plus cycle, it makes it sound like they're fostering COVID or something like that. It's not a very inviting title. Sweat, push, change, grow. Okay, something in the fitness industry. These are all in the fitness industry because this is what I was doing recently, but none of these headers speak to you. Community, like you don't know what they do after scrolling through this page. So absolute no, no. Don't use welcome at the top. Um, again, Creative headers, we bring our best so you can bring be your best. Like, what what do you do? What, what do you offer? You go down a little bit and then they start talking about how they do uh, training for small group training in this location. And that's really what should be at the top. Small group uh, training, personal training in Duluth, Minnesota. Boom. And then you bring in your creative headers lower on the page. Um, last one, just another one. Welcome to Annex. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Nobody knows who Annex is. I mean, they're assuming that you do know who Annex is and they're they're welcoming you, but it's not a good tactic whatsoever. Now let's look at good website header examples, especially those that have a local target market. Now these are gonna be the key things you need to do in your website header. One, don't assume who your visitors are. You, you, you know, too many people think that you're getting referrals and people know who you are, but that's not the case. And you don't want that to be the case. You want people finding you organically that have never seen you before and you need to introduce yourself and show them who you are. So don't get too creative at the top. Um, be clear and descriptive about what you're doing and speak to somebody that's just arrived to your website, not from a referral, not understanding who you are. Number two, keyword focused headers. If you are a local business or even if you're not, what are people searching for that they can find you? So most local businesses, you know, 
plumber in Phoenix or something along those lines. Do keyword research, see where the volume is at, but make sure you include some sort of keyword that people are searching for to get to you. And if you don't do that, they're not going to get to you. It's as simple as that. Number three, tell them what you do and don't worry about being creative. Bonus points if you do both, but by far it is way more valuable to communicate to the audience what you do. You know, as business owners, we really want to get descriptive and talking about all the valuable things in our business, but really we need to break it down to one small phrase about what we do. What is it? A gym in Phoenix. And if you want to add some sort of adjective before it, go for it. You know, inclusive gym in Phoenix or strength training gym, whatever it might be, that's fine. But somebody needs to be able to read that and understand exactly what you guys do. Now, I'll quote that guy from before, Andy Crestadina again. He was in the Dudacon um, presenting, and he has this awesome phrase that he says that the header must pass the backyard barbecue test, meaning that. Uh, if you just tell somebody what you do, are they going to be able to understand it? It's a quick conversation. They, they hear it. Do they get it? And the same thing goes for the website. If you give them five seconds and they look at your website, do they get what you do? Check out this clip from him so you can hear it from himself. Clear, descriptive header, completely different experience. Does your header actually say what you do? It doesn't pass the backyard barbecue test. If I asked you what you do and you told me you read to me your homepage header, would I know what you do or is it super vague? And this last one is not about the copy itself, but it's about the design. Make sure that the contrast ratio is significant enough that you can read it. I come across so many websites where they put like light text over a light background. And that's just a horrible presentation. Really not a good first impression for your business. They're not going to understand what you're doing because they can't really read the text. And beyond that, they're going to think your business doesn't have good attention to detail. That is the main thing people are seeing. You can't even get that right. What are the small details that you're getting wrong? Now, as I know, you know, the uh, just because if you have a bad website doesn't mean you're a bad plumber or whatever, but people do judge books by the cover or they just view that as the business. And if they're not paying attention to detail here, where else are they not paying attention to detail? The logic doesn't necessarily fit, but that's how people view websites. All right, so check out people who are doing it right. Boom, roof replacement CT, super keyword focused. I mean, that's exactly what people are searching. You've got what you do, where you do it, Connecticut, and then some more info uh, down here. Uh, this website is by Ruan and DevelopMark. He has a YouTube channel too. I'll link it below. He goes over a lot of SEO. This website's also by them. Uh, this one has a little bit of creative and the keyword. So I thought this was a good example. Smile, you just found a leading dentist in Sterling, uh, Virginia. So this is clearly what people are searching, dentist in Sterling, Virginia, but they also factored that in with something creative. Um, and, and that's a really good option right there. Now I wanna show you a couple of other ones of unique ways to doing it. So these ones I found by searching for personal injury lawyer, Arizona or whatever. And what's interesting here is this is not actually their title. So if for SEO reasons, you want to have something a little bit drier, like Arizona personal injury attorneys and car accident lawyers, but you want something else up here, you can actually move your H1 down. So if we inspect this, you can see that this is the H1. Um, so this is going to be what's weighted the highest for SEO purposes. And then this is just a span, or I guess this is an H2, which is interesting. I probably wouldn't put the H2 up here. I would just use like a paragraph or a span tag, but that's an option too. And then these guys do the same thing. So this is a span. It doesn't actually have any header weight. And then their dry, boring, but SEO optimized header is down here. And that's where you get the H1. So that's another decent option uh, if you want something a little bit more creative or that's not SEO focused up front um, because by this 100% dedicated to helping good people who are hurt and they say Arizona personal injury attorneys, you do get what they do here, but they just couldn't factor in, I guess, this H1. What I would probably do though is actually make this the H1 um, and then just make it small. So, I mean, that just screwed up the styling, but make it that this look the same way, but just change the, the technicality of it, make this the H1. And then um, this is just a paragraph or a span tag and it's still just as effective. So I'm just going to like spitball. I mean, you, you should really take a lot of time to create good headers, but if we look at one of the bad examples, climb to a better you, you should definitely, they should definitely put, um, what is this? A Boulder gym. Oh yeah. I don't know the exact terminology, but say like Boulder climbing gym in, I think this is Singapore. And then, their subtext or little um, uh, 
pre-header, whatever you call it, the, the thing that goes up here, can say climb to a better you, um, bouldering and rock climbing gym in Singapore. And that would be way more effective than what they have going on right here. I would also make sure that the contrast ratio of this text is more significant. It blends in a little too much. Not terrible, they put a uh, shadow. <laughs> oh my gosh, these kittens. They are ridiculous. I just got kittens and they are being kind of annoying, moving around and clawing all over my beautiful leather chair. Thank you so much. You can go to a website like Usability Hub and be able to run tests so uh, real people will look at it and you can quiz them. So you can say, show this screen to them for five seconds and then have them answer a question about your business or something along those lines. See if it works. Because what happens is us business owners or the business owners we're working with are going to want something different than what we suggest. And if you can back it up with data, then you definitely wanna do that and get the header that makes the most sense for attracting search engine traffic, but also satisfying your visitors so they understand what you do. Now the text that you put in your header is super important, but if it's not surrounded by really good design, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of conversions. And that's why you need to watch this video where I go over how to improve your web design in just five minutes. Peace guys.